Okay. Yes. Yes, that leads to this one. Yes. Okay. We're making progress. Hello. Sure. Whoops. Is that um I guess I could put, yeah, ingredients down. I'm not gonna do alchemy. Um, just don't want to like get rid of items that may have been part of a quest. I don't know if a tap root is, but it looks like my uh, fried chicken fell from earlier, so. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Lach. Well, that was fun. I enjoyed this. Uh, and then there's this little... Oh, there was... I thought these, was, these were stairs, but they're not. Okay, well... Back to the cave. Oh yeah, that cave was so messed up. I really like the architecture of this area. It's just a shame that... It's such a tiny space that all that it serves is to just go up and go outside kind of thing. Like, it would have been really cool if there was like a puzzle. And then again, I haven't really explored that much. If there was a puzzle in here... That would be pretty good. Or like a gauntlet of traps or something like that. That would make the area... Like, it would make you um, last... Like, it, it would make the area last longer in the playtime. But it, yeah, that was visually um, pleasing to the eyes. A little dark, but still enjoyed it. Okay, so... Am I going the right way? I feel like I'm going the wrong way. But... I am, actually. Going south is... Well, I'm sort of going the right way. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Very simple, yet effective. Where are they shooting me from? Well, where are you? I'll tell you if you tell me.
That was way freaking weird. Okay, so that was one. They're way over there. Like, they're blending so much with the scenery. Oh, th that 30% draw speed was uh, a really good investment. I am really not complaining with that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. What is that? That was an armor, wasn't it? Uh... Yeah, it's probably this. This one. Yep. Okay. I need to make a whole like inventory um, reassessment. You know, I want to keep the Thieves Guild um, armor, but I know that I need help in combat, so I need something that's like an offset in a way. So I don't know where I could store the Thieves Guild armor somewhere. Cause keeping them in my That's a poor chicken. Now am I gonna get an egg? No. Okay, with the chicken breast, that's pretty smart. Okay. Uh um, so yeah, full inventory and you know, reassign my favorites so that That's a bandit, isn't it? Well, no, that was a friend. And now he's dead. See, that's what Skarm does to me. It makes me, like, super trigger happy. Poor guy, I mean, I had to kill him. Wow. Because um, it's like, unless the, the, the crime was already reported. Why am I not wearing this? What am I wearing? 30%. Alright, let's cut our losses. And that's heavy armor too, so... Problem solved. You poor bastard. I'm so sorry! There's a marker. Like, I'm so sick of getting ambushed by people that, uh... That's what, guess, that's what happens. Right? When survival kicks in, eh? You gotta... See, there's... there's... That was a nice shot. Like I, that was a good kill cam. Okay, so ah, uh, come on. There we go. Yeah, I can do fire too, lady. Where is the other guy? <laughs> P 
Pretty sure I saw another fireball coming from this side. They were fighting what exactly? Oh, Imperials. Steel, man, you got you Empire folk need better equipment. Priorities, though. I like it. The guy died. Ah, stupid. That's a that's a weapon. I think shields are weapon, right? Maybe. I don't see them. So it is maybe armor. It is armor. Okay, so uh shit, what did I do? Did I accidentally equip something? Probably that. Okay, so twenty percent. Let's pick pocket. Uh, quick your stamina. Hide shield. There it is. Drop it. So what I'm going to do... Is I am going to favor... That's an amulet. Okay. I'm going to favor everything that I'm equipping. Like that I have it equipped. So that's not a favorite. Though I know why I made it into a favorite. Because who doesn't like a good pickpocket? Increase stamina by 10 points. Health. 30 points. Um. I'm going to keep the shield though because I, I need um, I need an offhand like an off weapon kind of thing so 25 for Dawnbreaker what was the other one uh, 23 plus 15 Right. So that is a cool bow, though. Wait, that bow does way more damage. It fills a soul gem. Ah. It's like I'm relearning everything. And that, of course. Okay. So it's in the potions that I have to just... Ah, uh, venom. Okay, don't take that. That's okay. Oh yeah, paralysis. So, how many... Blood freezing poison is health for four seconds. It's a small thing, but... Alright. So how does that look? It's still a freaking huge scroll bar, eh? Okay. Because it's the armor. I just want to make sure that I'm, I, I remember what my armor is if I misclick it. You know what I mean? 
Um, because I don't want to like accidentally, yeah, whatever. I don't want to accidentally misclick and it's like, oh, I forgot what I was equipping. Hey, that might be handy. Okay. So now is it more manageable? Eh. Wait, what is Oh, I have um Yeah, like that. Cleaner. Got it. Okay. So much better. And I'm going this way. Soon, we're getting s closer. I think. Yes. But I think we're going at it from the wrong. Angle? Oh, you got a friend. Uh, okay, one down. Didn't think you could climb up too, so... Grats. Your buddy doesn't have the same uh, advantage though. These critical strikes are pretty good. Okay. Waste not. I feel better at killing two bears. Um, that's actually an achievement for me. I guess they wanted me to go from this road? Because I'm off-roading right now. And... Uh, Everything is reach cliff. I am so far off. I'm following the wrong marker all this time, you son of a... Why doesn't the optional... Is it because it's a different quest and it isn't selected? Is that what it is? I can't click on... No, I don't want to cheat and go f fast travel. I want to figure out how to get there. Whoa, that's some current. Jeez. Okay. And it's not like I'm I'm stubborn and I absolutely want to do the optional uh, objective. I'm stubborn in a sense that 
that's what I wanted to do in the first place, and I still can't get to it. This is like one of those mirage uh, maze where I'm constantly following the wrong... And I got a pretty good sense of direction, so I don't know why I'm being like... Turn around. Okay, that's a long... Okay, now I'm facing directly at it. So how do I get there? That's a boat. Stop right there. What do you want? You have quite the bounty on your head in the reach. You pay me, and I see that your name is cleared. Yeah, sure. I will make sure this gets back to the Jarl. Minus my cut, of course. Consider your name cleared. For now. See, I don't know how much... I missed. I'm actually just curious to see if he's got all my money. I mean, this is what I get for killing a cat, so technically... Where is he going? Oh. Yeah, well... Hmm. So I did lose money. Interesting. I paid, like, the in... the... 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 the the thought process here was I paid um, thinking that I was going to have a hard time in combat. But then I got curious and said, like, can I just freaking, like, cancel combat by paying him? That way he's not, like, super aggressive towards me. And then, you know, sneak attack and get an advantage and then get my gold back. But I guess like the way that the game is setting up and for the Skyrim experts, they would probably know otherwise. Uh, gun. Oh, it's an Imperial soldier. Okay. Oh, you guys don't like me anymore. Okay. And am I still, uh... cause I was gonna say, I guess they proved me wrong. But, oh, uh, well. Is that, um, then again, they say Jarl, so I don't know if, like, why they were hostile. But I was going to suggest that the money that I lost was due to. I mean, the money I don't care. I, I got plenty of gold. But, um, was due to the fact that it went straight into uh, paying my. Um... Oh, that's interesting. It went straight to paying my bounty. But having them attack me on sight makes me think that my bounty is not cleared. And the entire world knows about it. That kind of thing. You know what I mean? Uh, I saw a bridge somewhere. And I'm trying to get to the high ground. Come on, you piece of... Can I not jump this? Okay, I have to jump first and then... Oh, the bridge is way over there. Okay. Like, I'm pressing spacebar right now and the guy's not jumping. It's because I'm, I'm too busy, I guess, pressing a forward and shift at the same time. And that's the kind of thing that I wasn't inherently aware of it 
or um, like I wasn't conscious about it. It was just like instinctively something that I knew was off when I was trying to play originally. And after spending some time uh, troubleshooting, you know, the game and trying to make it not crash and stuff like that, that I realized that um, piece of shit. that it's got a very specific set of inputs in order to do things. And that's when I learned like all of the little oddities. How? I'm back to where I started. There's an arrow there. I don't know if that's... Okay, I, I've been here before. I'm back at the wall. I guess I already deactivated it. Um, yeah, I'm back at the wall. Yeah, there it is. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> I completely forgot how it looks like. Um, for some reason, I, I kind of expected the NPC to be like outside Is that the real wall? Yeah, that is the wall that we see like in the the cinematic or not the cinematic but the the trailer for the the game. That's really cool. Um I wonder what's the resolution of that wall. Oh, I fell again. I wonder what's the resolution of that wall compared to the rest of the, the textures in this dungeon. Um. Although I'm thinking with the ex Master Edition, like they kind of extended the textures of everything. There he is. Thank God I found it. dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn, and the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon, within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. Do you know what he's talking nothing, about? But there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. 
definitely not lightning now. It was orange, brilliant orange, the color of heart and dawn, and a sound, too, distinct and indistinct, not thunder, something else, something... Uh, it's hard to interrupt him. But in the dream, I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what I, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams, I cannot escape. I Does he know we're here? Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat, the sound, the roar, challenging their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me, fire, darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream. But know that it was not. Ah, you're back. <laughs> you made some progress on tracking down this shout we need to defeat Aldrin. I don't know. Wait, where'd she, where'd she go? Wow, that's a ninja.